My name is Mario Savides. I'm a research professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department and SciLab here at Carnegie Mellon University. I'm also the director of the SciLab Biometric Center. What we do here in the lab is work on biometrics identification. And biometrics is ways that we can identify who you are based on physical or behavioral characteristics. For example, fingerprint, face, iris, those are all biometrics that can be used to identify who you are without you having to enter a password. The trick, however, is how do we make biometric identification a really unconstrained, a thoughtless task? So there's a negative stigma that Hollywood has imposed on biometrics. What we're trying to do here is make biometric identification a pleasant experience that is effortless. There's been some technology that pushes biometric identification one or two meters. What we've developed is a system that can actually capture iris anywhere between 6 to 12 meters. And our system will actually pan and tilt and capture the iris at that distance. So we're the first system to build that can do that long range and capture iris images that are enrollment quality, identical to the kind of image you'd capture at five inches away from the, from the eye. One of our research thrusts that really excite me is trying to help law enforcement in some of the challenges they face day to day. If you ever watch the 8 o'clock news, you'll see many crimes that have happened that you know, they give out an image that's grainy, that's low resolution, it's off angle. These are all the kind of challenges that law enforcement face every day. And the current tools are just not able to actually help finding leads about who the person may be. The tools that we're developing are actually able to enhance the images. We're able to find possible matches given this low resolution and off angle face. These tools can actually help find suspects and hopefully close cases. Beyond law enforcement applications, our technology has a wide audience, and anywhere from human-robot interaction to smart home surveillance. So if we can model all these factors, then we're making Biometric a very unconstrained and effortless technology that society is going to embrace.